You can actually sculpt organic forms from scratch using the sandbox tools. Click the second button to create a grid from scratch. Before you do anything, you can set the grid spacing right here. I'll set this up to be two feet and I'll press return. Then click three points to create the grid. One corner, the other corner, and the third corner determines this rectangle. The grid is just a flat plane that's been subdivided into an even grid here in both directions. Now I can use the Smooth tool, which smooths and moves the vertices all in one operation. It's very similar to Soft Selection in 3ds Max. Smooth works directly on the edges and faces, so you actually have to open the group before you can use it. Then click Smooth, and you'll see a circle attached to your cursor. You can set the radius. I'll type in 16 feet, and the circle gets a little bit larger. Click a point, and you're moving. You can see the dots are larger where we have more of an effect, and they're smaller as it fades off into the periphery. So I can move this up and down. I can hold down the Shift key to move normal to the surface average. I can make the radius smaller. Here I'll make it only 3 feet in radius. Then I can pull these down. Notice that the curvature is controlled by the granularity of the mesh. I'm creating kind of a divot here in the object because there isn't really enough geometry there to represent this in a smoother fashion. So I can go in here and select these individual faces and then use the Add Detail tool right here to subdivide them. And then I can go ahead and create a smoother looking hole in this mountain by using the Smooth tool again. Now I have more geometry to work with, so the curvature can be a little bit more subtle. The Add Detail tool does more than just add detail. Just to summarize it, if you select a face and then click Add Detail, it will subdivide that face. If instead you don't have a selection and you click Add Detail, what this does is it allows you to move the vertices either in the blue direction or if you hold down the Shift key, Normal to the surface. This last tool here allows you to flip edges. I'll click on it, and then click on different edges to flip the triangulation. Now these tools don't have to be used with the landscapes that you make, either from contours or from scratch. You can use Smooth, Add Detail, and Flip Edge on any object you make in SketchUp. Remember, there's no special data type in SketchUp. Everything is just ultimately a collection of edges and faces. I'm sure you're aware you can move individual vertices, edges, and faces. But did you know you can actually change the topology of the organic form, that is, its internal structure? The way this works is by pressing M first without having any selection. Then click a vertex, move it over, click it on top of another one. This will alter the topology or structure. You can connect the dots and SketchUp will heal any vertices that are on top of each other, keeping them internal edges. In this way, we can sort of reduce the amount of complexity of a mesh by pulling edges over and connecting them together. So using some combination of these techniques, whether it's the Move tool, the Smooth tool, Add Detail, or Flip Edge, you should be able to model just about anything given enough inspiration and patience. You can improve the appearance of an organic form by hiding all of the edges, and you can do that globally by selecting All Connected, going to the Window menu and opening up the Soften Edges dialog, choose Soften Coplanar, and you can fool with this slider here to see how much will be hidden. And you can also do this manually with the Eraser tool, hold down the Option key, and scrub over edges that you want to soften.